Hey everybody, what's up? This is DA Roxas, and I'm here to show you how to um, work with a Dazzle. Now, I've seen a lot of videos with Dazzle, and a lot of them are perfectly well. I'm not trying to upstart anyone on how to perform or try to hook up and set up a Dazzle, but this is just my own creative way of showing everybody. Now, over here in Denmark, they don't even know what a Dazzle is, so I had to find mine, and thank goodness I had a family member that worked at an electronics shop that uh, was able to get me one. I just got it. As you can see now, I have it hooked up here and everything going. I've already done a test run. If you want to see that test run and see how it looks, you can go to this video right here and you can see the final product. But here is, I guess, a small step-by-step -step on how to get your dials to work. If you're here in Denmark, this will be very important. If you're not, you know, hey, you could just find another video. But this is a very simple, quick, easy way to get all your video gameplays. You can see I have Wii and a PlayStation 3, and I've done it on both, and it works perfectly well. Now, the first thing, of course, you're going to need a Dazzle. You can find them just about anywhere. The family member that got me this, it only cost me like, or cost him, excuse me, like 30 bucks. So, it was a pretty good uh, a deal considering that he works at the electronic shop. But there are some important things you're going to need. You're going to need a two-sided RCA... Uh, cord. That means you're going to need one from this here to the dazzle and one directly to the TV. Now, a lot of you right out the bat are going to start freaking out because normally you see the yellow, white, and the red. But let me be 100% sure and let you guys know the color does not matter. Okay? You can see under, I have the, the yellow, the red, and the white. Okay? But these, the, the ones that I bought here in Denmark, they're blue, red, and green. It does not matter as long as you remember where you stuck the mail in on the television as well too. It will come out perfectly fine. That is one important item you're going to need. And then the other important item is a splitter, signal splitter. I needed three of these. Of course, you're going to need three yourself. You're going to stick each one of those into... So I turn this here. Excuse me one second. You're going to stick that into the video, the left, and the right. See, LR, skip the SVID, and the video. Again, it does not matter where you stick those with the R cables. The color scheme is just a color scheme. As long as you remember where you stuck them before you put them into the television. Now, I have a standard Sony television. It's running here. I hope you guys will be able to see this as I go back behind here. I apologize if it's very, very dark. Here is the PlayStation hookup here for the PS3. As you can see, I have the exact same ones. All I did was I remember red is on the very bottom. And I apologize if you cannot see this. Red is on the very bottom, which matched to red, green, and then blue. You guys probably didn't see that, but trust me, it works 100% as well. Okay, there's nothing to freak out, there's nothing to panic about. There are a lot of Danes that have personally emailed me on how to get this to work. Guys, don't freak out. Just toy with it and just remember where you put what color to what splitter on the Dazzle as well. Now, another thing we're going to do is, I am running on... Pinnacle Studio 14. I have a lot of people that ask, does it work for Pinnacle Studio Ultimate 14? My video is done rendering here, or, or whatever you want to call it. And you can see it here. I will show you this now. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. Everything works fine. It does not matter if you have Pinnacle 12. You can use Pinnacle 12. It's the exact same programming. But now here's the thing, when you've done the recording of the game that you want to do, you have to go to import, and from import, you have to click that, and then under this import from, it will show under the dazzle, and that's how you get this to work.